Antisynthetase syndrome, Wikipedia article audio. Antisynthetase syndrome is an autoimmune disease associated with interstitial lung disease, dermatomyositis, and polymyositis. As a syndrome, this condition is poorly defined. Diagnostic criteria require one or more antisynthetase antibodies, and one or more of the following three clinical features, interstitial lung disease, inflammatory myopathy, and inflammatory polyarthritis affecting small joints symmetrically. Other supporting features may include fever, Raynaud's phenomenon, and mechanics hands thick, cracked skin usually on the palms and radial surfaces of the digits. Signs and Symptoms Pathogenesis The disease, rare as it is, is more prevalent in women than in men. Early diagnosis is difficult, and milder cases may not be detected. Also, interstitial lung disease may be the only manifestation of the disease. Severe disease may develop over time, with intermittent relapses. It is postulated that autoantibodies are formed against aminoacylternous synthetases. The synthetases may be involved in recruiting antigen-presenting and inflammatory cells to the site of muscle or lung injury. The specific molecular pathway of the process awaits elucidation. The most common antibody is anti-JO1 named after John P., a patient with polymyositis and interstitial lung disease detected in 1980. This antihistidyl tRNA synthetase antibody is commonly seen in patients with pulmonary manifestations of the syndrome. The following are other possible antibodies that may be seen in association with antisynthetase syndrome, anti-PL7, anti-PL12, anti-EJ, anti-OJ, anti-KS, anti-ZO, anti-HYRS, and anti-SRP. In the presence of suspicious symptoms a number of tests are helpful in the diagnosis. In certain situations, testing of other antibodies, specific imaging, and swallowing evaluation may be needed. Antisynthetase Antibodies Unfortunately, treatment for the antisynthetase syndrome is limited, and usually involves immunosuppressive drugs such as glucocorticoids. For patients with pulmonary involvement, the most serious complication of this syndrome is pulmonary fibrosis and subsequent pulmonary hypertension. Additional treatment with azathioprine and slash or methotrexate may be required in advanced cases. Diagnosis Prognosis is largely determined by the extent of pulmonary damage. Treatment and Prognosis Muscle enzymes are often elevated, i.e. creatine kinase, anti-JO1 antibody testing, electromyography, muscle biopsy, pulmonary function testing, lung biopsy.